What's up guys, it's RK Rosas with the Community Warriors Real Estate Team. And if you're looking to relocate to Houston or find a different neighborhood to move to, you need to keep watching this video because I've got one of the hottest ones out there and where my office is, Houston. If you want to be in the heart of the city without having to sit in traffic for an hour like most Houstonians, East End might be for you. If you want to be in the place without breaking the bank, might be for you. If you want to be in an area that's new and trendy, but still carries the spirit and traditions of the generations past, the East End is definitely for you. So between the eastern edge of downtown and the west of the port of Houston, the district takes center stage of Houston's history, culture, and industry. Containing the original Chinatown with Asian immigrants in the early 1900s, and now two of the oldest Hispanic neighborhoods with Latinos making up more than half of its over 100,000 residents, the East End is a melting pot that highlights the diversity that Houston itself represents. Being originally a primarily industrial district, it stemmed a ton of growth. And in the mid 2000s, a ton of people actually started moving here because of the affordability compared to other parts of town. And actually a lot of developers came in here as well to build more properties stemming even more growth. Now, what was once, I'd say five years ago, a property that you can buy brand new construction would be about 315K. Nowadays, a new construction, you'd be hard pressed to find something that's under 400,000. With the new East River project, which is a 150 acre development along the river being developed along with a number of other developments, I'm betting the East End is gonna be the place in Houston. Let's talk things to do in the East End. This place was once filled with warehouses and now they've turned to restaurants, gyms, and coffee shops. Kind of like this one right here, Edo. It's honestly my favorite place to get an almond croissant and I think it's the best one in town too. Or cool concepts like the Ironworks Marketplace that highlights a number of small shops like thrift shops, pastries, boutiques, and my company. And if you're like me and you like a drink once in a while, you can stop by 8th Wonder Brewery or a number of those other breweries and beer gardens in this area. One thing that you'll notice about the East End bars and, and breweries is that they all kind of carry this industrial spirit where everything's made out of shipping containers and it's all warehouses. And one other thing, the beer gardens here are massive. Because of course, it's Texas. So while a lot of people think the East End is about the new trendy stuff, there's a ton of staples in here. You can go to the original Ninfas that popularized fajitas, as we know in Tex-Mex cuisine. Or you can be like me, get a po' boy from Mandela's right here. The East End is home to weirdness that Houston has to offer. On top of this, the other murals, there's Spencer Park and even the art cars. The Orange Show is actually even expanding another five more acres where you can be inspired every time you check something like this out. You guys can get for 235K in the East End. In the East End, you're able to find a lot of houses like this where they're remodeled. This one's a three bedroom, two bath, and it's actually even got a yard. Let's look at what 350K is gonna get you in the East End. This is crazy. The main highlight about this one is that you are right in the heart of it all. If you're a sports fan, the Dino Bulls play right here and you got Minute Maid Park right over there. Let's see what you guys can get for under 500K in the East End. These new construction houses right behind me off of Ronald's is one of them and it's going for just under 500. Most of the new constructions you're gonna be able to find from around 400 to 500. So let's check this one out. This place is only 500,000 and look at it. Something like this, a new construction inside the city is gonna run you probably twice as much. And imagine telling your friends that you live downtown and you got a yard like this. So much more for us to talk about here, but I hope this gives you a glimpse of what the East End is like from the history, the real estate, the things to do. There's honestly so much more and we're gonna be here another time, so be sure to tune in. But if you're looking again to relocate to Houston or just move into a different neighborhood, subscribe and follow because we've got a lot more coming so we can connect you to your community. Alright. Oh my god, fucking so messy. <laughs> this is a 
a lot more intense than I thought it'd be. <laughs> like you're in the place. Damn. In the place. 